In this video, we'll be taking apart the Poco X5 Pro. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a plastic pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. There are 18 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now the pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and ran along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing cannot be lifted to the side and the flex cable for the fingerprint reader can be disconnected from the main board. The back housing is also made of plastic. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. So you won't need to disassemble the phone to replace those. The LED flash is located here and the NFC antenna is located here. There's also an area of graphite film to help transfer heat. On the other side, we can see numerous antenna flex cables around the border. The cables for the battery can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the flex cables. There are two coaxial cables on the bottom right side of the board that need to be disconnected by popping them off. Here's a better look at the 16 megapixel front facing camera. On the main board, there's a 108 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. None of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. There's an infrared or IR blaster on top, a secondary microphone underneath the shield, a headphone jack on the top corner, and graphite film over the front shields to help transfer heat. There's more copper tape on the back shields, as well as thermal paste. Once the copper tape is peeled back, we can see more thermal paste on top of the RAM and processor. Here is a better look with the thermal paste removed. To remove the battery, there's a pull pouch provided to help you pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. Once the adhesive pouch is peeled back, we have a better look at this flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard, and the flex cable for the screen which is right up to an opening in the midframe. So if you needed to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws on the back housing and the housing itself, disconnect the battery cables and the cable for the screen, pry the battery off giving you access to the flex cable for the screen, and then heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, Pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back through the opening in the midframe, and reassemble the phone. Once those flex cables have been peeled back, we have a better look at the 3D layer of graphite, which helps to transfer heat. To remove the subboard, we'll need to disconnect the flex cable and other ends of the coaxial cable. There's a rubber gasket around the charger port and the primary microphone is located underneath the shield. 
The sim reader is located on the other side. Here's a better look at the speaker assembly. And there's some graphite film over it to help transfer heat. The x-axis vibrator motor is located on the bottom, and that's held down with some adhesive. The flex cable for the power button and volume key is located on this side, so if you need to replace that you can just gently peel it off. The proximity sensor board is located on top, as well as the earpiece speaker which is held down with some adhesive. There are also two liquid damage indicator stickers on this phone. One is located here and one on the bottom by the sim reader. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble the phone. Once everything's back in place, apply a new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.